Brave DVM's coming at you here with frustrating frost again. And the frost, you know, up in my neck of the woods takes these gate latches, which you can open either way with it pulling the pin, and it gets them pinned every frickin' winter. I like that these lock, but I don't like that you gotta really work to lift these pins and then you get the gate apart and you can't get it shut again because of the frost. These things have just been bugging me. Now, as many of you guys know, I've got horses on this place. I tend to bang the gates around and make them rattle and, you know, make some noise. And I've got goats, which like to lift the little latches out of these red things and try to escape, so I've always got to keep them locked. And then I've got beef, which, you know, in the past are hard on gate latches because they can really push on them. So what I've found is i found that if you go to the site uh, bestgatelatch.com, there's um, a gentleman that um, does some forging, and he makes a really good gate latch for areas that deal with frost. Um, these gate latches allow the gate and the post to move and still maintain the latched uh, position, which means it can't bind depending upon what the frost and the ground does. It's also very nice because you can literally unlatch these with one finger and latch them back up with one finger. Now, you can't slam the gate shut and they go into a lock position like those other ones. That might be the only downside to these, but I certainly do like them. Now, I've gotten these um, last year, put them on my place, all over the place, and I found a few things that I could adjust and make better. And as my neighbors have seen this, they've kind of, you know, looked at them as, that's pretty cool, you should, you know, show that. So I thought, you know what, I'll make a video of how I took the best gate latch and made it even the best gate latch ever. <laughs> There's a couple things that I wanted, again, this gate latch to do. So first thing is, I drilled a hole in it so I could put the key back in it, um, just, just a simple, you know, hitch pin key kind of thing. I wanted that so that in the goat areas, I could lock it. Then, where the horses like to bang on the gates and make a lot of noise, I went and heated up some basic, like, radiator tubing, and I cut it to the right length after it was heated up, and then I took this radiator tubing, which comes in like a six-foot coil, with all the little pieces I had cut up to the right length, and I took the latch, the, the best gate latch, and I sprayed it up with some oil. As you can see here, this is one of the ones that I have the hole drilled in it so I can lock it. I sprayed it up with some oil, and I shoved this down over the top. Now, you'll see in my videos that there is some wear and tear on my gates, but that's before this system. That's from the other type of latches, which dented the posts and um, took the paint off. Now that I've got this, I can tell you this summer when I respray all these posts, and I respray these gates, I am not going to have any damage to the metal like I did in the past. Because with these little rubber boots on there, number one, I'm really quieting down the rattling of the gates, especially in the wind and when the animals are pushing it on them. But I'm also saving the gates from a lot of wear and tear metal-wise, which I'm really, really liking. So again, these are two modifications that I've made to the best gate latch. I, I put some basically rubber boots on the top of it to make it quieter. Um, and make them so that they don't damage my metal uh, gates. And I've uh, put a, a hole in the um, front of it so that I could put a key in it and basically lock it up and keep those goats in. These two modifications have turned this best gate latch into, like I said, the best gate latch ever. I absolutely love it. I think I've got nine of these things on the farm. And again, in Minnesota, where I'm dealing with heavy frost and deep frost, some years it goes deeper than four feet in the ground, it lifts up those posts. It changes those gates. I've got some gates that are on wheels. And as those wheels roll over the top of that snow that you don't get completely cleared out, with those other latches, it's just tough to get them latched. With this, it's not a problem. As far as the ease, I do think it's a pretty easy gate to get used to. Again, you can't slam it shut after you've opened it and expect it to lock. But I just take my uh, key out of it. And you know, as you can see, it's still in the lock position. Just one finger, lift it up on a cold day like five degrees out today and it drops and I can open the gate. Now again to shut it all I gotta do is reach down grab it and flip it up and it goes automatically back into its lock position it's great. With those two big you know rubber tube pieces on there of radiator hose it's dead quiet and the gate rattles around in it you don't hear any noise. I absolutely love that. It's really cold in Minnesota we get some freezing rain these things have held up great they've not froze up on me at all. The keys are easy to get out because of where I placed that hole. That hole is actually dead center with the top of the latch when it's in the um, closed position or the latched position. Um, and yet the key goes into it very, very nicely to still um, grab on and, and lock. 
Now, if you made the hole too much higher up, you might actually probably be able to wiggle it and get it to unlock. But again, if you put that hole where the center of it's dead level with that uh, piece of metal in there, uh, you can just put the latch in and make it work. Now, I've got the latch, obviously, on some plastic chain here, so we never can lose it. And it works absolutely fantastic. So again, I lock these up. My goats stay in. I got the rubber on them. My horses push on the gates, keeps them nice and quiet. And these are definitely, definitely strong enough for my cattle. I absolutely love these. I'm really happy with what the um, product is like. I'm glad he makes them, glad he produces them. Check out his website, folks. Um, and I hope you enjoy the best gate latch. I can now call it the best gate latch ever. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. And we'll keep putting out great videos like this, folks.